Here's a rig that I hardly ever get skunked using. And all you'll need is a York peppermint patty. Hey! The rig I'm talking about is very similar to a Sabiki rig. It's pretty much a line with four dropper loops on it. And each of these dropper loops has a fly tied on the end. And at the bottom is a sinker for it. And I'm going to show you exactly how I tie it. Okay, let's get started on the build. All we're really going to need here is some monofilament line, some shiny candy wrappers, a whipping tool, small hooks, a pair of scissors, and a bobbin and some sewing thread. And that's it. So I am using York peppermint patties, but you can use whatever candy you want as long as it has the shiny wrapper. Eat the candy. It has nothing to do with the fishing. What we're looking for here is the shiny flash that you get on the piece of candy. And I'm going to open this carefully so that I have um, uncut material to work with. I like York peppermint patties. There we go. Boop. That's what we're after right here. That flash right there. Now I'm going to show you how to apply this to the hook. So I'm choosing a smaller hook because I'm not going after huge fish with these. This is more going to be for bait fish. But you can tie on huge hooks and catch bigger fish. This is just my own personal preference right now. So now I'm going to put this into the vise. I got this vise for $14 online on, on Bass Pro. Okay, so generally you just don't want the hook to move. That's, that's the whole point of a vise. You don't even need a vise if you don't, you, know, you don't want to buy a vise. First off, after the, pat, the patty's opened up, you're going to want to take some of that flash and cut it into the shape of a little silver fish. Now we're going to take a look at what that looks like. So now I'm going to trim it to shape. This is the shape you want to get. You see that? You don't want this to be too wide because this needs to go around the hook. So this is the part I put on the shaft right here. Okay, so now before I apply that, I'm just going to put down a base layer of line so that it stays on. This, this helps keep the flash on without it slipping off. And now we're just going to put it on just like that. Right, and we're gonna you see how I'm, I'm wrapping this on? And that's it. That's the first fly right there. Now we're going to tie it off. This is called a, a whipping tool. And there we go. Now if you want to learn how to do the, the, that technique right there, how to tie it off and all that stuff, I teach you guys exactly how to do this in, um, in our other episodes. I'm going to link it right up here. Um, but it's a very simple tie-off. This is the first fly that we've completed now. I'm going to try and do six of them. And I'm going to show you how to put them onto your main line as well. So now after this, after this step, you're going to put some super glue on the tip right here. That super glue is going to harden that line and keep everything together. You can use super glue or you can use epoxy. I'm going to use epoxy because I don't have super glue. Or, or nail polish, clear coat nail polish. I hear it works very well as well. This glue kind of smells like tuna fish. This tiny little thing 
it really replicates, it really is supposed to replicate a small little silver bait fish flashing through the water. So you can imagine this thing moving through the water. Now imagine not only one of these, but six of these in a line. It'll look like a school of, of little bait fish swimming through. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I put this on a rig to catch bait fish now. Depending on where you live, I know in Maryland you're only allowed to have two hooks. Some places in the US you're allowed to have up to six, seven hooks, especially if you're on a boat. I say tie as many of these on that you're legally allowed to. The more hooks, the more lures, the more chances for more fish. So what I want you to do is get yourself some monofilament line. I'm using 20 pound line right here. And we're gonna tie four dropper loops on here. Now, if you don't know what a dropper loop is or how to tie a dropper loop, we've got the blueprints and the tutorials on how to do so on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. So first, I'm gonna get some line out. And then I'm gonna tie four dropper loops, probably seven to eight inches in between here. So now I have the whole rig. Here's the first dropper, second dropper, third dropper, fourth dropper. And this will be the top right here where I'll tie a swivel on. And I'm going to use the improved clinch right here. Trim it up. Now on the other end, this will be the bottom end. We're just going to tie a loop right here because we're going to attach a sinker to this one. So we're going to tie a loop like that. Cut off the remains. Now this end will be the sinker end. With this rig, I like to cast it far out and bounce it back. So I don't necessarily want a pyramid. I want something that will go through the water quickly and will allow me to bounce the bottom easily. So the inline ones I, I typically use, just like that, right? So I'm going to go back to this first dropper loop now and start putting the flies on. Now there's multiple ways we can do this. First off, we could cut this end right here and tie an improved clinch on. But for demonstration purposes and for speed, I'm just going to put it right through just like this. So you see that loop? Pinch it, push it through. Bring it around and pull. No tying needed. All right, here's the first fly applied on. You see that? Just looped right on. Next, we're gonna do this for the rest. This is a pretty long one. I could have shortened it up a little bit. Um, but this is the basic idea right here. Just tie the flies at the end of the dropper loop like this. But take a look. So now, if I'm on a pier or something, I can just drop this straight down by the pylon and kind of just jig it like this. And you can't see it, but I'm looking at this, there's just so much flash here. It looks like little four little bait fish just shimmering around. And this is perfect for an easy snack for any kind of predator fish that wants it. So now I like tying it with this dropper loop because in case this fly gets bitten by something toothy, it's doubled up. The line is doubled up rather than a single line. So it's going to be a little bit stronger. So I'm going to take this exact rig that I tied up now and I'm going to take this to the beach and to the pier next time I go to Florida. It's winter here in Maryland and there's really not much for me to do. Maybe some crappie fishing, but there's not hardcore fishing here in Maryland during the winter. Uh, so I spend my time tying stuff like this up. So when I go back to Florida, I'm ready to go. Some extra little tips about this rig is Try fishing it all sorts of different ways. If it's not working, bouncing it back, try keeping it in one place and just barely move it, right? If that's not working, try casting it out and reeling it back in at a moderate speed. If that's not working, try reeling it in at a faster speed, right? So the sinker at the bottom, if you want it to be lighter, it doesn't even need to hit the bottom. It can kind of, you can kind of just drag through, through the middle column of, of whatever you're fishing. Anyways, I hope that you guys can learn from this. This is a very popular rig. It's a very successful rig for me. 
pretty much my go-to if I'm not catching anything. I will put this on, catch some bait, and use that bait. It's a great way to save money on bait. It's a great way to save money on your own rigs. Um, if you do tie this up and start catching fish with it, let us know what you catch with it. I want to hear from you guys. If this is helpful for you, please let us know in the comments. We do our best to try and help as many people get on fish as possible. That's our job here at Hey Skipper. We want to inspire as many people to get outside and go fishing. And I understand that sometimes it's really hard because there's not enough information. Where do you start fishing? How do you tie these rigs? How do you tie these knots? We've got all the answers on HeySkipperFishing.com. We put out lots of tutorials, ebooks, and crash courses on there to help you guys with that exact problem. We want you guys to get out there, have some fun in a responsible way, and ultimately get on some fish. If you like our show, I encourage you to like and subscribe. We put an episode on every Thursday. See you next week, guys.